Thank you for watching this video. Please remember like and subscribe. And join my Patreon if you want to help to support the channels. The link is always in the description. And thank you once again for choosing to watch this video. To all my like, all my fans, and my haters, enjoy. All right. Um, do you guys like God damn it. So I watch Vice. I watch Vice and I used to watch them a lot when I hit HBO. Um of course when they moved to YouTube now um yeah. I watch Vice. And um I don't know if this will be TOS or not, but 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 this is a this is something that is near and dear to my motherfucking heart. So, um, I was watching this guy. He was actually trying to become a better man. And this was, this is a couple of months old, but, um, I don't think it should be a big problem. Um, um, yeah, let's watch this video about this guy looking to become a better man and he's doing certain things. And, um, well, you will see, let's go. I would say just about every sort of type. Don't be creepy. You keep staring over here. Creepy? Yeah. Would you be <laughs> yes. willing to um, play with me? Ouch, goddess. Now, this is fun. Like, when I saw this, like, of course, I'm thinking, like, yeah, of course, sex. Like, <laughs> like, Who's going to accuse me of not being interested in sex, right? But this was this was actually a pretty interesting take on it. Without communication, our world would not turn. Fuck. Societies would crumble without proper communication. This is true. Let's <laughs> So, let's go. It's basically the glue that holds us all together. And that's why it is, it is very important to communicate. Unfortunately, when it comes to communicating, I'm not very good at it. Before I head out on my journey, do you guys just have like one simple, you know, uh, one simple, uh, one word, uh, a few words of wisdom before I head out there? So in order to try to become a better man, I'm going to track down some masters of communication to try to learn from them on how to enter the top tier of good communicators. You know, I'm actually supposed to be working on art while I'm doing this, but this, I've seen this video before. It's fucking hilarious, but I just wanted to bring it to you guys. It's hilarious, and you got you actually see why. I fucked it up. God damn it! All right, so let me just give you a little bit of an example, the premise of this video. What this guy is actually doing is going around and trying different things to be a better man to communicate. Now, obviously, as you can see, he's a uh, portrayed as some weak nam namby pamby soy boy type guy okay and um he's doing different outrageous things to just be a better man and this shit is hilarious because like some of the things that he actually um like like this one is literally one of those things where it's just like like I understand the principle of him actually doing it because, well, you'll see. It takes communication to be in these spaces. Ask me how I know. Ask me how I know. But it's just funny because, oh, God, somebody's motherfucking awkward. Somebody is motherfucking awkward. But let's go. Going to attend a swingers party. Yes! So, in order to learn to communicate effectively, I'm heading to Secrets Hideaway, a resort for swingers by swingers. The foundation of their success relies on the art of communication. So, who better to lead me on my journey than a bunch of swingers? Yes! <laughs> Look at that 
shit in the gram. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. <laughs> he feels like a skinny Ethan Klein. Oh shit. Yes. I see it. I see it now. Let's go. Welcome to Better Man. Oh, like and subscribe. God. And swing. Secrets Hideaway was obviously no ordinary vacation spot. Oh, I, was oh. I wasn't here for a vacation. I was here to become a better man. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. Hey, welcome to Secrets. Hi. I'm Holly. I'm Taji. It's nice to meet you. My day started with a tour of the resort with Holly, Secrets Director of Public Relations and full-time committed swinger. This is what we call our triage area. The reason we call it the triage is this is the only place that the single males can be and single females. In order for them to go back there, they have to be with a couple. So when they enter with a couple, they leave with a couple. Anyway so, man, her head lights up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm being immature as shit. Even though, like, okay, okay, okay. So, um, I have been to a number of different swingers parties as a couple and as a swingers, as a single male. And some of the rules of swingers parties are just as she said no singles um without a couple um especially um if you're a guy and you go to a swingers party don't be creepy don't be creepy be cool and you're gonna see some rules in this shit that if you're a struggling guy the best fucking thing you can do is go into a swingers party. Bathe yourself in the lifestyle and don't be creepy. Cause yeah, like, like let's be honest, this motherfucker right here is on some creepy shit. But let's go. Where on the property other than the lobby and the nightclub, they're able to have sex. Blowjobs, anything. This is where it gets a little bit more intense. So this is our main playroom area. This is our orgy bed. We've seen pretty big orgies. That's a decent size for, size for an orgy bed. Oh, that's a, that's a very decent size for an orgy bed. But ask me how I know. Let's go. What's happening here? Do you have like a number maybe? Like is there a record? 20, 25. Yeah. 20 to 25. Damn. Uh, thank you again for having me and, you know, opening up your place to us. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm very <laughs> like uh, at first starting a place of this. this it, it's been a fight. Just what we do here is frowned upon. So they were constantly trying to shut it down. And so when it got to this level, that's where they turned around and made it at individual owners. So all the condos here are owned individually. Wow. Yeah. So here's the thing. Um, I'm going to say this. I hate people's weird obsession with sex and open and, and openness of sex. Like, if you're concerned about STIs, that's one thing. But, like, these, you know, boomer mentality of, like, no, sex is private. And she should, like, like, that is literally, that boomer mentality of sex being private, it's probably something that had a span of about 30 fucking years. And, by the way, they were the same motherfuckers. These boomers that did this shit was the same motherfuckers that was talking about free love and shit. Oh God! You just bathe yourself in the water of Lake Minnetonka. <laughs> okay, let's go. I was quite surprised to hear that people had bought these up as condos, but I suppose they don't call swinging a lifestyle for nothing. Holly herself had been in the lifestyle for years, and as a single woman in the seat, she's known as a unicorn. My girlfriends always joke around. They're like, "Borrow my husband for a little bit," and I'm like, "Perfect." I still get to. Now I know unicorn hunting is actually frowned upon. Um, also bull. It's bull, like being a bull is something that it's an experience that you may find weird. Like, like having a couple, like, and where the husband wants you to have or fuck his wife or do shit to his wife. That's actually, you think that's weird, right? Like, or even like, even like being in the lifestyle and having like being a bull that does shit with the wife outside of I, I think I'm saying too much. I think I'm saying too much. Like it's weird when you are meeting a couple and the husband actually invites you to, you know, hang out when you know you're about to fuck his wife. That shit is weird. I've never 
okay, I'm gonna get back to the to the to the video. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy, you know, that freedom that I have in choosing to be single. The best of both worlds. Best of both worlds. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. So solid. Awesome. Uh, uh, he's he, he. Okay, and I know he's hamming up the awkwardness for the whole video, but this is shit. Oh, it was a fun time. Like, yeah, but okay, let's go. Holly then took me to meet Nikki and Elijah, one of Secret's host couples. The host couples help ease in folks who are newer to the lifestyle, like me. As three and a half year veterans of Secrets, Nikki and Elijah. And you know what's fun too? In a lot of places, like a lot of swingers' places, um, you don't see that much racism. You don't see that much classism. They're usually more progressive. Um, you you may see some um, race play shit. Like, oh, yeah, the big black cock is about to fuck this. Like, you may see that shit, but it's just like, it's not the level of racism. Like, oh, hey, guys, like, like you see a crowd of people that's just like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, Let, let's go. I just were masters of communication, and I was honored to be their student. Your lifestyle seems to be very communication based. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. How did you two end up? Uh, <laughs> just, just that awkward pause. Like, oh my god. Okay, yeah. Well, all right, let's go. We came one Saturday, and then after that, it was like every weekend. It was. Yeah, just back to back. Yep, and we've been here ever since. What was that first night like? So my first experience seeing him with another female that really brought out jealousy. So it was. And so this is a point that I want to actually get to. For people that's in the lifestyle and say they never experienced jealousy, no, that's the thing that happens. That's the thing that happens. But you can actually kind of like, but once you actually communicate about it, have that conversation and say, why was I jealous? Does it because you were just talking to somebody or you were fucking somebody or you're doing this with somebody? Is it that I feel I'm jealous because I feel insecure? Is it it's like yeah, if, if but it's it's the first guttural reaction because that's the the society we were actually brought up into, and um, I'm gonna say this: if you're a guy and you have your woman and you want to join the lifestyle, be prepared for her to fuck other dudes. If you're in the lifestyle and you're only expecting your your woman to fuck you without her experiencing any other shit, then you shouldn't be in the lifestyle. But let let's get back to it hard for me going home it was you know talking everything out we argued a lot and then it's like out of nowhere thing it clicked we had to communicate better how were you communicating initially that wasn't working we were holding shit in we were communicating but we weren't expressing everything on how we felt yeah we finally realized that you have to everything yeah you gotta talk regardless if it hurts or not mm -hmm. if i'm uncomfortable i could give him a look and it's yeah, it we're clicks. done He's not gonna put me in any situation. Yeah, any situation where I'm gonna get hurt or if she doesn't like to or she doesn't want to do something. Yeah. I'm not gonna... So I had to fully trust him. And see, that's what you have to have in this type of lifestyle, this type of relationship. It's just funny. Like, dude is sitting back, like <laughs> he's like, boom, <laughs> lampshade over here, coffee tape over there. Like, it's like <laughs> he looks that creepy, but I know he's playing it up. You guys have reached relationship nirvana. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. A big part of the lifestyle is learning how to approach couples in a respectful yet upfront way. And Nikki had some great tips for me. Don't be creepy. Let's let, let, let's 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 play that back for all of the people in the back that couldn't hear this shit. Let's play that back. Approach couples in a respectful yet upfront way. And Nikki had some great tips for me. Don't be creepy. So to put my communication skills to the test, we role played a few scenarios to show me how and how not to approach. What's he doing? He keeps staring over here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. <laughs> what did Kami say? I'm getting a restraining order. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's go. Creepy? Yeah, I don't like Hey, what's up, brother? How's it going? It's good, it's good. Uh, you keep eyeballing my lady. It's kind of awkward. Can you please not do that anymore? 
I'm sorry about that, man. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I'm Taji. How are you doing? What's your name? Oh, oh, uh, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, Hi, I'm, I'm Taji. I'm her fiance. Oh. Yes! This is what we do! Like, you. Look, look, look. This shit doesn't even work. This shit doesn't just work in swinger shit. If you come up to people and just say, Hi, how are you doing? If you want to start a conversation, this shit works. And if they want to be an asshole, cool, that's fine. One of the main things, one of the main reasons that actually helped me with doing YouTube, what actually helped me being able to communicate effectively with people, or communicate with people, I don't know effectively or not, it's just like everyday conversation with people, even if it's about the most trivial, trivial thing. Like, I was literally in Jules, Osco, which is a grocery store. And I saw, like, I saw somebody, you know, interacting with the meat, which I wanted to get to. And instead of, like, excuse me, and bogarting my way there, I was just like, hey, um, damn, these meat prices are actually good. And we sparked up a conversation about the fucking food. And it wasn't in the point of just like, okay, yeah, she was a woman and she had a nice looking ass. But still, it was about starting a conversation. About joking with people about a subject that is literally up front. You don't have to have deep, meaningful conversation, but you just can just have a conversation about a specific topic and leave it at that. Seriously. It doesn't take much effort. So all of these red pill and in celebrate motherfuckers that say, oh, nobody wants to talk to me. Like, first, wash your ass. Don't smell like shit. And just don't be creepy. <laughs> but let's go. Oh, you guys are together on this day. Yeah. Oh. Go straight to her. Oh. Come to me. Hey, sorry to interrupt you guys. I'm Taji. I'm Eli. Or Panda. And this is my lady. Nikki. Nikki. <laughs> His name is Panda. Oh. 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 Panda. Panda. His name is Panda. <sighs> shit but you know the sad part about it is you would think if you were in an event like this you should just go straight to the mail and did like like he's not even and this is not the whole oh you need to address my the mail first so he can actually like no like dude like acknowledge that we both here like for real don't just don't just think with your dick and start talking to the woman then talk to the guy like no nah, they're a couple but like this is more lines of like respecting their relationship versus like, oh yeah, this is my woman. Like no, like no, no. this is actually really this is an effective ass strategy, and not even a strategy. This is an effective ass interaction. Um, <laughs> almost said erection interaction. Hold on, let's go. Hi Nikki, nice to meet you. What are you into if uh, you don't mind me asking? Pretty much, you know everything. I'm pretty open minded. Go ahead, take a shot if you think you got it, bro. I'm gonna go get a shot from over here. Hi, it was uh, Nikki, right? Yes. Awesome. Um, I love your outfit, Nikki. Oh, thank you. I love her outfit too. Yeah, I'd love to grab a drink. Just like that easy, <laughs> so like one, two, three. Yeah, I tried yeah. to follow yeah. your advice. Yeah, you were good. You know, I said hi to you thing. first, and then you know you yeah, were. Yeah, I got a cool vibe from you. Were cool. Thanks, yeah. man. So and another thing too, one of the reasons why you do that because. Let's be honest. People feel vulnerable in this sec in this in this in a situation like that. And if you and somebody they with makes is doesn't get that creepy vibe, which I don't understand how this motherfucker didn't get a creepy vibe. From, from, <laughs> okay, I'm being like like evil. <laughs> Evil plan, alternate version, evil alternate version. Okay, I get it, but like, yeah, um, yeah, let's go. That was just like kind that, of like a successful moment. Yeah. It took some tries, but I think I was starting to figure out how communication plays. Like the way they have these bars is just that I had awesome. Kind of approach under my belt. I needed to learn some of the lingo. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan. If I want to suck that person, Dickie, that person can eat some ass, do all that other stuff. I'm gonna tell them that. Who are happy to fill me in on some of the turn? Wait, did she say eat some ass? Wajita, there you go, man. There you go. So, in the lifestyle, there are different names for different things. A voyager is someone who comes and just watch. They don't do anything else. They just enjoy watching. Wait, she means voyeur, right? Voy 
Vo okay, I'm a, I'm a voyeur. I'm a voyeur here. Vo vo All right, let's go. And then you have a full swap couple who, like how we are, as long as we have communication, if that's what he wants, he can go in a different room, I can be somewhere else, and he can fuck and come back. He knows to wear a fucking condom. He knows that I'll fuck his shit up because me and him go bareback. Yes! Condoms are... Even if you went in a lifestyle, condoms are essentials. Always, always strap up. She told me it's controlled cheating. Control cheating. Okay? So, if you want to be with multiple women, don't go date a woman that wants just one man. She's going to break her heart. Come into the lifestyle like this and meet a woman like this. That Why he looks like a cool-ass Isaac Young Hayes? Why? Look, look, I have a gut. I have a gut. I have a gut. And like I I I bike and shit and like no, nah, no. <laughs> it's all funny games. Like no, never ever ever be ashamed of your body that like like look, look. Look, look. If Shandy for Christ can do porn. Nobody should have an issue with walking around naked. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. If Shani for Christ can do porn, nobody should have an issue walking around naked. I'm just, I'm just saying. I would walk around naked right now. Like, shit. And I'm a grower, but not a shower. But I have no fucking issue with walking around naked. Actually, I want to go to a fucking um, um, closed optional resort that's around my area. And I'm going to try to find somebody to go with. But that's just me. That's just me. Let's go. Where, where you can do stuff like that. Is there a term for this kind of person? Soft swap. It's soft a swap. soft swap. For sure. Well, I'm happy you guys yeah. found each other. It seems Absolutely. like it's going smooth. Fuck yeah. Thank you so much. She's going to say some shit that's going to fuck <laughs> I felt like participating. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Shady for Christ in our gay areas. <laughs> alright, alright, let's go. In a poolside activity where I met Party Mark. Taji. Taji. Yes, sir. Killing me, bugger. Sorry, Taji. Taji. Hard one. Taji. As part of his MC duty, Mark was hyping up the crowd by emphasizing how the lifestyle can lead to true happiness. How many of your friends say this? Your neighbors. Well, I guess I'm happy. You've been married 25 fucking years, and you're still smiling, you're still fucking the same person. Meanwhile, the neighbors aren't doing the fucking same, they're miserable, they got kids and they're stuck. Here we go. After Mark's brief sermon, I took part in what's known around here as the jack-off game, where the goal was to click your clicker as many times as you could within 30 seconds. Just the... the... What makes this shit funny is just the crazy placement of the bars, and I... Again... Like, if you go back and see this chick, like, the bar will actually wiggle. And it'll be elongated, but it'll wiggle. Like, this shit is crazy. Three, two, one, go! You got 183. Nice job, my man. At this point, I'd learned about etiquette and terminology. Oh, and God. I felt like I was getting a good grasp of how success comes with clear and effective communication. But I was still curious about how this applied to happy and lifelong marriages. So I stopped for a game of pool with a lovely couple who had caught my eye to learn some more. I was looking over and I- He just looks awkward as hell doing this shit. I swear to God, he just looks awkward. Oh my God. Okay. I saw you getting a blowjob, yeah. I think. Is that what was happening? You just met them people. And then this one, if I could just uh, clip it, um, maybe just right to the side. No, put it in her ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I got no, it out of him. And are you two married? Yeah, we've been married 16 years. 16 years? Yep. Wow. When you get into this lifestyle. How does he not know how to shoot? Oh God. Okay. There could be jealousy. There could be a lot of different things, but you have to open line of communication is the big, biggest thing. Did you run into any issues at first together? Absolutely. But you just, you work through it. And that's what makes you stronger as a relationship. Just communication is everything. It's everything. And if you don't talk about it, then that's where the problems persist. Awesome. And you all have done the full swap before. Oh, 100%. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. That's like with- Last night, yeah. You two, and can you tell me a story about last night if you don't mind? Yeah, we walked in, we-, we had put, an a, audience. put a scene on in the in the playroom, and then she squirted all over the place, and then we. Uh, 
<laughs> was it her squirting? Or was it pissed? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna bring up anybody else that may be like 600 pounds. All right. Let's go. Uh, I got up and said, "You're welcome." You're welcome. Drop my drop. drop. Did you do any squirting as well at all? No. <laughs> Later in night. Yeah. It's wait. Wait. Did he just ask? Did you do any squirting whatsoever? Like what the fuck? Okay. Okay. It's not about that. It's more about you know just. Robbing and feeling on ladies, you know, making them feel like a million bucks. You don't have to come in on her. You know, it doesn't have to be about finishing. It's just making them feel like on top of the world. They seem like a happy. A man after my own heart. Yes, yes. If you're enjoying this type of lifestyle, it's not always about your orgasm. It's about pleasing your partner or whoever you're with at that time. That's how. That's always the goal of this shit. But let's go couple with a clear understanding of each other's wants and needs and as we parted ways they left me with a divine mantra that they live by it's all about the women all of them when they're happy we're happy you know I mean? happy wife happy life happy wife happy life happy wife happy life you so noopy it seemed like everyone here was really committed to the lifestyle that's quite oh he's like three times and i could really feel how much everyone hold on themselves but due to the YouTube nuke me? Oh no! YouTube nuke me. Here, let's do. I thought Twitch would nuke me before YouTube. This is a YouTube video! This is a YouTube video. Oh, wow. This is a YouTube video. I am literally watching it on YouTube. Oh, wow. YouTube nuked me. Oh, wow. See? What? Wow, YouTube nuked me. I am literally live on YouTube. I, this is a YouTube video. Wow, wow. Oh my God, YouTube nuked me. I am, I, this is literally a YouTube video. This is literally a YouTube video. Wow, well, <laughs> well, um, yeah. I guess that's the thing. And I was actually worried that Twitch was going to nuke me before anything. But wow. Okay. Okay. So YouTube nuked me. Wow. I guess. I guess we still go back to the video. <laughs> Shit. New YouTube nuked me. And this is a YouTube video. This is this is the fucked up part about it is if I get nuked, why is this video not nuked on YouTube? Wow. Wow. If I got nuked, why didn't YouTube YouTube literally this is a YouTube video? Yeah, it's Crimson60620. Here, let me actually put the link. Um That's my Twitch link. Am I back on, on YouTube? Am I back on YouTube? Like, hold on, let's see. Like, I'm hold back. On, let's see. All right, all right, it looks like I'm back. Let's see. Um, all right, let's see. The sensitive environment and respecting anonymity, there was some stuff at secrets that we unfortunately cannot show you. So, 
you'll just have to picture what it was like for yourself. Yeah, I mean, so far I saw one guy getting like a blow job in his little Havana area. Yeah. And uh, I guess I saw that the drill dough thing was pretty crazy. Some really loud. Oh, drill dough. Okay. Okay. Um, if you, if you haven't seen the drill dough before, drill doughs are fun. Drill doughs are, all right. Or, 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 all right. We're going to save that to Crimson After Dark. <laughs> Let's go. A moaning on the microphone. Oh, yep. I'd come to Secrets hoping to become a better man by sharpening my communication tools. And now that I learned... <sighs> what is this creepy look? What is this creepy look? I'm just saying, what is this creepy look? What is this creepy look? I I I I can't make this up. Like what what is this creepy look? <laughs> In the basics, I was ready to put them to the test. In a situation where clear communication is a must. Uh oh. A BDSM session under the strict guidance uh -oh. of Mr. Tank and Goddess Elves to guarantee I leave here with not only a mark on my skin but a mark on my soul. Get on your knees and beg for it. <laughs> okay. This whole realm is about consent and how do i acquire your consent and how do i show my appreciation for your participation with me <sighs> after meeting goddess elves she cannot do without her daddy i can't live without my daddy she took me on a quick tour of the dungeon i noticed there's two glory holes right yes there is then it was uh, my session uh, uh, and around here it was customary for the bottom me to proposition the top to play by asking for it on their needs. Hi, goddess. Thank you for having me here. Would you be willing to um, play with me? <laughs> now, what I need you to do is grab this towel. Yes. He just seems so awkward, but he's less awkward with having a um, a dom than what he's seen before. I wonder why. Yes, goddess. Yes, goddess. Good job. Are you comfortable with taking off your shirt? Anything you would like, Goddess. Take your shirt. Thank you. Goddess. <laughs> put my chest on the, the, the... You know, he's got another mic on the camera, Goddess, so it should be okay. I was quite nervous for whatever was about to happen, but thankfully Goddess Ells taught me a simple communication method to help me through the experience. Thank you, Goddess. Green meant everything was good, yellow meant things were nearing too much, and red meant to stop. Um, so far it's been, um, very, um... Very green so far, guys. Yes! Yes! Bend over the table. I'm sorry. God, okay. Like, the inner dom is coming out. Anyway, let's go, let's go. Oh, shit! That was kind of more of a yellow goddess, but still kind of like back in green. Yeah. Alright, so, um, here. Let's just do this, and we'll worry about the YouTube shit later. Um, so, um, I've actually seen that technique used of where I've seen somebody, and it was a young lady. Um, <laughs> it was a young lady, and um, she, um, it was a, uh, it was at um, Exotica here in Chicago, and um, the guy was taking just a simple flog and was just flogging all over her body. And it like it was never that harsh, but like as soon as like she came, she came up, <laughs> she came. Um, but he came around and started flagging her, and then he gave a, a slightly harder tap, and you saw her shuddering. Like what the fuck? Like it wasn't even that bad. And it's like I want to get one of those tables. I like I'm not heavy into the BDSM shit, but I literally want to get one of those tables where I can actually um explore different things and no it's not the 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 sight of a man bent over that excites me it's it's the expression of power that comes with bdsm and when you're somebody such as myself that when you're with a partner and you want them to be able to give their trust to you where they allow you to bind them not a lot but just bind them a little bit and blindfold them 
and to be able to touch them in certain ways, always slightly at first, then more firm, then less slightly, then more firm, maybe a little bit of pain, but then edging. It's, yeah, 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 let's go, let's go. Feel all sticky all of a sudden. The next part of the session was a little more intense. Hey, you got it. Yes. If there was sensory deprivation involved. We moved the communication to a non-verbal method. Green, yellow, red. Am I saying that I want to have a? Um. Am I saying that I want to have a um BDSM dungeon? Yes, I'm going to have a BDSM dungeon. Yes, I want to have a BDSM dungeon. I do. I do. I want to have one. Oh, oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Ladies, get <laughs> yellow. Got us. Thank you. With some yellow hybrid and red goddess. Is there like a blend? I'm still. He is loving this shit. I swear to God, he is loving this shit. <laughs> oh God, oh God, he is loving this shit. I just can't. I look, look, look. I get it. Like this is somebody's thing, and I would like to be the one performing the the thing to a young lady that I'm with. I like that's just me. But wow, he is loving this shit. Like I'm just wow, wow. I. And like I've never ex like I've experienced with women that I'm with, and it's more of a trust trust issue with me. But I like I've heard of course of course you know smack the ass and spank me all that other good shit. But like I've never seen somebody to this level actually getting excited off of it. But he is getting excited off the shit. But let's go. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Ah, all right, it's good towards red. I think I'll take a red on that one. God, yes, that was a red goddess. That's definitely a red goddess. I think. Yeah. But he's grinning! Thank you, Goddess. We made it to the red. Hopefully it left a mark, I'm hoping, but I don't know. Okay, that's good. That's all I really, really needed, probably. Thank you, Goddess. Probably a good mark. So you want a mark or what? Sure, why not, Goddess? Alright, so I'm at a solid yellow right now. Um, Goddess. And, uh, I guess I'll take it one step. He doesn't look awkward anymore! <laughs> Why doesn't he look awkward anymore? Like he looks like he's enjoying the shit. He doesn't look awkward anymore. Okay, let's go. Further because um I'm starting to like this a lot. Alright, I'm still <laughs> a yellow, I'm terrified, goddess, but I'm enjoying it. Goddess ah! Thank you so much, goddess. <sighs> Thank you. Oh god. Thank you. And sir. Oh, wow. From etiquette to lingo to consent, my time at Secrets was a true crash course in communication. Yeah, it's more like a yellow guy, <laughs> honest, for sure. While this lifestyle may not be for everyone, the sentiment of Secrets is that communication is paramount to successful relationships. And oh, that wow. is a universal truth. And now with all this newfound knowledge I had gained, it was time to part. Is he doing cultural appropriation? I'm just saying, is he doing cultural appropriation? Let's go. So thank you to all the swingers for helping me get one step closer to becoming what? a better man. Wait, wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Did he have a motherfucking person at the end? Did he? God damn! God damn! Oh god! Oh wow! Shit! That god damn! Yeah, that was that was fucking amazing. You guys, to me, that was fucking amazing. I fucking love that. This is like yes, yes. That was fucking amazing. And if you have not. And, and I get it. Not every relationship would actually uh, allow for that. Not everybody is. That's part of their, you know, relationship dynamic. But if you feel 
that your relationship can actually stand that type of intimacy, that type of openness, and that type of communication, I say do it at least once. See how it is. Don't blame each other. Just say, hey, we want to enjoy it. And for you guys that take your woman to a place like that, be prepared for her to want to fuck somebody else if she wants to. And see, just see if that is something that you guys can actually enjoy because it does bring communication it does bring more intimacy it brings more togetherness and you know you guys can have a conversation about the shit that you like i'm just saying i'm just saying oh man that was fucking hilarious that was fucking hilarious oh wow I, they they did give me a strike. Wow. I'm gonna do this. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna actually appeal it. Hold on. Cause this is stupid. Like they gave me a strike. Um hold on, let's let's do this shit. Yeah, I did get a strike for watching a YouTube video. Wow. That's that's crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to appeal this shit because no, like, no, I shouldn't actually um, get a strike for that. It's their content and I shouldn't get a strike for that. Yeah, yeah, this, this is, um, and none of my content, like I never have my content as suitable for kids. So yeah, I shouldn't get a strike for that. I also didn't show any nudity. I won't be able to do things like upload a post or live stream for seven days. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna appeal that because that's a strike that shouldn't happen. That's a dumb strike, and I'm sorry, guys. That you guys, um, thank you for coming over to YouTube, uh, Twitch, but that's a strike that shouldn't happen. So yeah, f like man, come on. They need to actually make sure that they um, appeal that because no, I I am literally watching one of their videos and I sent the link and everything. So and if they age restricted, I 
I'm fine with them age restricting it. That's not a problem for me. Like, I don't get monetization anyway. Um, I, I have no problem with that. Um, but yeah, that 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 would be crazy. That would be crazy. Oh shit! So I'm gonna challenge it. It's a video on their site, and I'm actually offering commentary about it. It's fair use, and it's actually something that they shouldn't be mad about. Like for real, y'all really gonna be upset about this. Y'all really gonna be upset about this. Y'all really gonna give me a strike? No. And see, this is why. I, like, this is one of the reasons why I try to do shit on Twitch. I know most of my audience actually is on YouTube, but this is the reason why I do shit on Twitch because um, I've actually gotten a stream stopped for me doing drawing on YouTube because it seemed it it, it looked like nudity. And if you looked at anything of me drawing, I actually draw the shapes, and then I, I clear it up from there. Um, YouTube, <laughs> YouTube sometimes because it's an automated system, it doesn't know. But I'm gonna appeal this and make sure that we actually look into it and see what's going on because, yeah, no, it's 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 yeah, that's fucked up. Wow, wow. 